Welcome to PC Woods Kits Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Antec High Current Pro 750 watt modular power supply. Previously I reviewed the High Current Gamer version. This one here is a step up. It's 80 plus certified, more efficient, and also it is SLI and Crossfire ready. So you're gonna have a consistent delivery of power whether you're running it at default clock speeds, overclocked. It's got four rails here. We're gonna look at this more in detail of course and it's basically something that you want that has quality involved, right? Five years warranty, that's definitely a good warranty from Antec. 135 millimeter fan, we're gonna take a look at that in a second. It is very quiet. And of course, like I mentioned, it's got four high current rails, so that's gonna deliver enough power there. So if you have uh, Crossfire or SLI running, you know, you're not gonna have any issues. Also, one thing that you have to look for in power supplies these days is surge protection, you right? Overpower protection. All of that circuitry needs to be there, right? You're gonna spend the money, you wanna protect your, your components that you're buying, and of course, you wanna make sure that this fits in your case. It is slightly uh, larger at the end than the average. Now, looking here are all the cables, the components that you can um, obviously use. Take a look at that in a second. In the box, you got the manual right there, and uh, it's nicely packaged, and you can see that they uh, put nice little covers on it to protect it. Again, this is not a cheap power supply, just from the get-go, not just the packaging, but also the quality. You can tell that they've spent some time here to make sure that um, things are protected and also that you get good quality components. So let's open up the box and take a look and see what's inside. All right, so some of the cables, some of the um, power cables come attached already because you need those by default. So there's no point in having those modular and that's quite common, okay? So as you can see there, they're sleeved. It's a thick gauge, 16 uh, gauge uh, wiring that they're using, which is pretty good. And uh, they come uh, labeled, okay? So you can't go wrong when it comes to installing something like this. And um, like I said, we'll just have to open up this uh, cover here and just slide this out. And there you go. So as you can see, there's a little bit addition there that makes it slightly longer than the average uh, power supply. So just keep that in mind with the dimensions. Nice, clean, uh, brushed finish look, right? Matte finish, it's not a shiny finish. Uh, nice, heavy construction. You can see there the buttons, Antic logo on the side. Of course, the 135 millimeter fan, which is very quiet, I gotta admit. There it is. Okay, if you're uh, wondering about the uh, details of it. And, um, well, what can I tell you? I mean, this thing is four rails, so you're gonna get lots of uh, power across all rails. Looking here at the uh, modular connections, they come labeled, color-coded, so again, you can't really go wrong with something like this, okay? You can see here how it's labeled, even the rails, the 12 volt rails are, are labeled, V1, V2, V3, V4, so you can see what I'm talking about there, okay? And obviously, you would plug in what you need in there. If you're just installing one video card, well, it already comes with uh, the PCI Express connector, the power connectors, everything that you need to have um, a standard system up and running. All you need is your SATA cables uh, plugged in and that's it. Here is the heavy duty, uh, duty power cable and um, in this little uh, carry bag, of course, you get the additional cables and there are the Molex uh, cables. Just to give you an example of the sleeves, the uh, quality of the um, connectors. All right, and that's basically uh, what's in the box, okay? You got a wad of um, modular cables, so you can't go wrong. Like I said, you got enough there, and uh, of course the uh, screws so you can attach it to the case. Here it is installed in this case, which uh, I'm gonna be using. I ran a separate video on this uh, AMD 5800K 810 uh, system, so you can look at that and click on the link on the side if you wanna know about it. But here are basically the output um, readings, the voltage readings on um, different loads, of course, the specifications that they um, state this can achieve, obviously, and the combined uh, amount of output, 744 watts, 62 amps total, which is pretty darn good. Here it is uh, in the bias, you can see the voltage readings on uh, idle, okay, so in the center of the screen you can see there. In Windows 7, again, the voltage readings on idle are hovering right around the nominal readings where it's supposed to be. So 
If it says 12 volts, it's running at 12.7 on idle and not lower, right? We don't want to get uh, a power supply that is running at 11 volts, for example, or 4 volts on the 5 uh, volt rail. We want it to be right where it's supposed to be. Here it is running at full load, and again, voltages are exactly where it's supposed to be, or even a little bit higher. Um, but then again, that's because I have it overclocked, everything running on full load, and um, there's no issues there with any of the components or the system uh, failing. So definitely recommend this power supply from Antec if you're looking for a strong, efficient power supply that can take two video cards or more. As you can see, this thing is good to go, and I'd like to thank Antec for providing it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.